a groove. This was the best week, I think, so far in the Trump campaign, mostly because he's able to be himself, the authentic Donald Trump. Our panel this Sunday, Time Magazine correspondent Jay Newton-Small, Democratic strategist Harry Savugan, and Republican strategist O'Brien Murray. Good afternoon. Good Sunday to all three. Jay, we'll start with you. You heard the words here. Great week, best week ever, the authentic Donald Trump. Uh, but as we all know here, he started with two bad weeks in a row. Uh, you, you going short or you going long on this latest pivot? <laughs> well, I, just one, just to have a few positive media cycles for Donald Trump at this point is a win. Uh, it's been kind of a brutal, not just two weeks, it's been kind of a brutal month. He got savaged coming out of his uh, convention, then coming out of the Democratic convention. It was he went after the Gold Star family, Mr. and Mrs. Khan. Um, and it's just been one thing after another where he seems in, unable to put aside uh, insults and pricks and just, and, uh, you know, prick, right. uh, when people are pricking at his ego and sort of, he just seems incapable of saying, okay, no, I, I'm going to let this go and move on and be on message. So the fact that he actually did a whole week on message is, um, I mean, it's, it shouldn't be amazing for any candidate, but it is amazing for Donald Durable, Trump. Durable, you think, then? Is that what you're saying, Jay? I mean, we'll see. That's always been the challenge for Donald Trump is can he be a disciplined candidate? Yeah. It's always been the concern that the Republicans, establishment Republicans have had mm -hmm. is, you know, can he stay in message? Can he avoid all the controversy? Okay, well, Brian, you know, as, as we look at this latest pivot, it is a whole week long, well, or at least four or five days. Uh, and part of that is he admitting to some regrets. And, and let's listen to that. Then I want to get your, your thought on it, okay? He wants to regret any time he's caused somebody personal pain by saying something that he didn't intend to cause personal pain. And I think those who have received it privately should take that expression of regret. So is Donald Trump sorry for what he said to the Con about the Khan family? Is he sorry for what he said about John McCain? Is he sorry for what he said about Judge Curiel? He has said that he regrets causing personal pain to those who feel it based on things that he has said. Okay, so new Trump campaign manager there, Kellyanne Conway, there sure. talking about these regrets. Uh, believable? Well, I, I think they're looking forward now, and that's yeah. what this today was about and what the past week was about. Sure. What matters now, 79 days out at this point, is really what's going to happen on Election Day. And can Donald Trump stay on message and also exploit the flaws in Hillary Clinton's plan right now? Hillary Clinton has a bigger problem, too. She thinks she's going to win this thing. As of right now, she's going to do the same thing her husband did, less than 50%, which means anything she wants to do is not going to be a, a referendum by any means. Believable case. or not, though, this, this shift here, this sincerity, sure. you, you, you're sure. on it. Sure. No, it, it's believable in the sense he wants to move forward. He uh -huh. never meant any personal offense to anybody. And he, he spoke what he felt he, he should have said at the time, whether it was right or wrong, and he's apologizing for that. So, Harry, as we look at this, uh, you know, how effective will the attacks from the Clinton campaign be as, as we move forward into the Labor Day and post-Labor Day time period if Trump doesn't specifically uh, and directly apologize to, for instance, the Khan family as the example yeah. that was raised there uh, with George Stephanopoulos? Yeah, I, it, this is very interesting to me because I, I think this is just a, a really is telling of how low standards have become uh, because of Donald Trump, right? I mean, he's he's made some sort of non-specific expression of regret, as uh, as appeal to so-called appeal to African American voters, speaking in front of 95 percent white audiences, uh, while still putting out ads that are blasting immigrants. Uh, so I think you know, despite what he's trying to do here and and uh, how the sort of traction he's gotten for the week. Uh, the fundamentals of his campaign are still very divisive, and that's going to be something that's going to be exploited by the Clinton campaign and Harry, the rest one of the way. One of those points that you're bringing up is on the issue of immigration. Very clear in his recent speech is that he's not going to take a step back from that. Here's what, again, uh, Trump campaign manager Conway had to say about that. What he supports is to make sure that we enforce the law, that we are respectful of those Americans who are looking for well-paying jobs and that we are fair and humane for those who live among us in this country. Will that plan include a deportation force, the kind that he just, you just heard in that soundbite and that he talked about during the Republican primaries? Well, to be Brian, determined. Uh, O'Brien, as, as you look at the commentary here uh, made by Conway, how do they improve on this deportation force language, the illegal immigrant uh, quote-unquote language used that is seen as by many in the Latino American community as offensive? Well, I, I think, they're, they're, first off, it's not meant to be offensive. I think what it's meant to do is protect our country. And right now what we have is a problem with illegal immigrants coming into this country. And the first thing we have to do is stop that tide from happening. If you're here legally, that's great. We welcome you. If you're here illegally, we have to figure out what to do to protect the country. It's not meant to be offensive, but it's, it's seen that. How but, 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 but how it's seen is one thing. It's just what he says and how he says it. It's like building a wall. 
How big is the wall going to be? What's it going to do? It's going to protect it's not the like country. A wall, though. It, it, it hits people in a different fashion, but because of having to discuss the issue, how do you not offend people if they want to take it that far? Much like the Democrat. Uh, it's not one or two the, people that but, you know, Brian. But, but just like a Democrat consultant here, not giving Trump credit for anything, I give Hillary credit for admitting the foundation won't take money Jay, anymore. Jay, Jay, but Jay, what's your thought on this? How do, how do they shift to change some of this language and the connotations that are seen by many Latino Americans uh, as negative here? This is absolutely the, one of the biggest challenges for him, and this is the huge sort of pivot from a primary stance to a general election stance, is broadening out your base from just essentially white Americans on the Republican side of the field to try to appeal to some minorities, uh, whether they're African American, which was the other push he's made this week, or Latino, and he, he's certainly tried this week to, to appeal to Latino voters, sort of hedging, as Kellyanne Conway um, said as you, in the interview you showed, uh, hedging on the idea that he's going to deport all of these illegal, illegal immigrants. Um, trying to come up with a softer tone to appeal to people, saying he's going to win 95% of African American voters. But can he actually make this pivot? We are looking at now five weeks away from early voting, and this is a really hard turn to make for somebody who spent the last year plus really having harsh language for immigrants and for minorities. Um, it's, it's just one week of tonal change is not going to do it. Jay, uh, thank you so much. O'Brien as well. Harry, I owe you one uh, on the next one. Thank you all three. Stay with us, by the way. We'll talk to you later in the hour. Zika Thanks, could Jay. stick around the United States for a year or two. What that means for Miami Beach.